Alright, hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Katie. Today we're going to be making a snowflake. A snowflake, they're pretty easy to make. What you'll need is scissors and paper. If you want to decorate, you can do sequins, glue, colored paper, um, anything else. Then what you're going to do after that is let the glue dry whenever it's finished. So then what, so you grab your piece of paper, okay, and then fold it into like a triangle mode, a mode, so it looks like this. Then grab your scissors, and cut off the excess. So you can use this for another mini snowflake, what would be very cute as well. I might show you this one later in the video. I don't know. Then you grab your square piece thing, whatever you want to call it, and fold it up into another triangle. So it's like in the middle. Then it goes into that. And repeat. After that, then you want to repeat. It doesn't matter if you have excess hanging on off in the bottom like me because if you do then it will just ruin your snowflake and it will not work. Um, I've tried this on cardboard and it was too stiff and then I did cut it off on a piece of paper before and it didn't work at all. It had a big hole in the middle. Does anyone want to like cut this off? These can be little messages or little ice apples. You might want to color these in like me and stick them on a picture. But I might as well just do them in the bin then because I don't really like it. Woo! The thing that was just holding on to what you guys are on, whatever you want to call it, were pencils and they just fell. Then you want to grab your. Don't you look like that anyways? Then you want to grab your snowflake and you want to cut a triangle nowhere near, nowhere near your um, whatever you want to call that as well. And then what you want to do is cut three of those, but on your last one, cut them like really near the edge and then cut it like, whoop. So then... It looks like that, but cut off the entire piece if it didn't work the first time. Then you should have, oh my gosh, oh come on. So then you should have it like this. Then, oh no, something fell apart, doesn't matter. And then what you want to do is cut this oh no whoop so like I'm gonna repeat that step on the other side oh if you did your triangles too small and do one big flat one. It does not have to be near the edge. So then they're both two different signs. And then that's your snowflake finished. Oh no, this might not have worked. I hope it has. Yep, it worked. This is the way your snowflake should have been turned out and if it didn't turn out like that you can always pause the video and restart it i have made one of these i made one of these earlier and i decorated it with sequins and if you can't see in camera i hope you can but they're very shiny see and that's what i did and I did not know cell tip. If you knew cell tip, it will you will be able to see the cell tip and it will just ruin your snowflake. You might as well just need the print stick, the jumbo ones, and it's got a lot of glue inside. 
as you can see. Very sticky and if if you can hear it makes a little noise and leaves a little glue on your finger. If you do that ever but never do that. Please never do that. I was only trying to show you of the sound and, and everything else. Now I'm going to have to glue my fingers together. <gasps> oh no, that actually nearly glue. Never do that, never do that. No, no. Oh, I'm even getting glue all over my outfit. I am wearing Weekend Girl, if you haven't seen that, for my t-shirt. And that's it for today's video. Bye.